Hello all and welcome to this next session of our understanding of the tribe of Judah uh, in this account of uh, learning about the tribes of Israel. Before we open, uh, let's start with prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you today. We ask that you allow each and every one of us to hear this message and uh, learn more about your tribe of uh, Judah in the account of uh, the book of uh, Judges. So we just give this time to you and we praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so we're going to go dive straight into chapter 1, verses 1. And it talks about uh, the tribe of Judah conquesting the land of Canaan. Now, after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked of the Lord, saying, Who shall be first to go up for against the Canaanites to fight against them? And the Lord said, Judah shall go up. Indeed, I have delivered the land into his hand. So Judah said to Simon, his brother, uh, Come up with me to my allotted territory. And that we may fight against the Canaanites, and I will likewise go with you to your allotted territory. And Simeon went with him. Then Judah went up, and the Lord uh, uh, and the Lord delivered the Canaanites and Perizzites into their hand, and they killed the ten thousand men at Bezek. And they found Adonai Bezek and Bezek and found and fought against him, and they defeated the Canaanites and the Perizzites. Then Adonai Bezek fled, and they pursued him, and caught him, and cut off his thumbs and big toes. And Adonai Bezek said, Seventy kings with their thumbs and big toes cut off, used to gather up the scraps under my table. As I have done, so my God has repaid me. Then they brought him to Jerusalem, and there he died. Now the children of uh, Judah fought against Jerusalem and took it. They struck it with the edge of their sword and set the city on fire. And afterwards the children of Judah went down to fight against the Canaanites, who dwelt in their mountains and in the south and in the lowland. Then Judah went up against the Canaanites, who uh, dwelt in Hebron. Now the name of Hebron was formerly known as Kijar Abra. And uh, they killed Seshai, Ahim, An, and Talmai. And there they went against the inhabitants of Debir. And Debir was formerly a Kijath Sefer. And Caleb said, Whoever attacks the Kijath Sefer and takes it, to whom I will give my daughter Ashash as a wife. And Othniel, the son of Canaz, Caleb's younger brother, took it and so gave him his daughter Ashash and wife, as wife. Now it happened that when she came to him, she urged him to ask his father for a field. And she dismounted from her donkey and Caleb said to her, What do you wish? So she said to him, Give me a blessing, and since you have given me land in the south, give me also springs of water. And Caleb gave her upper springs and lower springs. Now the children of Kenite, Moses' father-in-law, went up from the city of Palms uh, with the children of Judah in the, in the wilderness of Judah, which lies in the south near Arad, and went and dwelt amongst the people. And Judah went with his brother Simeon, and, asked, uh, and they attacked the Canaanites who inhabited Zephath. And utterly destroyed it. So the name of the city was called Homa, and Judah took Gaza with its territory, Ash Ashkelon with its territory, and Ekron with its territory. So the Lord was with Judah, and they drove out the mountaineers, but they could not drive out the inhabitants of the lowland because they had chariots of iron. And uh, we can learn a little bit about this uh, conquest and uh, the leading into uh, the, the conquest of Canaan. Uh, but the death of Joshua did give a, uh, an indication, which was uh, the conclusion of one former period and the, and the beginning of a new period. And Judah shall go up corresponds with the divine preeminence of Judah in Jacob's patriarchal blessing. And to cut off thumbs and big toes meant that the kings would no longer be able to uh, lead in battle, uh, because without the thumbs they would have difficulty holding weapons, and without the toes they would lose their footing in battle. Let's have a quick look at the next one, which is taken from Judges chapter 20, verses 18. And that also talks about the um, tribe of Judah. And I'll read the verse and you can expand on it later. And when the children of Israel rose and went up to the house of God to inquire of God, they said, Which of us shall go up first to battle against the children of Benjamin? The Lord said, Judah first. Now that's a nice one to read in your own time to help you understand a little bit about chapter 20. But uh, in essence, the, the uh, short accounts that we can learn from that is house, the, the house of God is an expression probably referring to Bethel, where the Ark of the Covenant and high priests uh, Phineas were located. And to inquire of God through the uh, high priest Urim and Thummim. And uh, Judah was, uh, when they say Judah first, 
that's talking about the divine preeminence of Jacob's blessing. So the Lord kind of uh, gave them the blessing and saying they will go up, Judah will go up first. And so in closing in this uh, short little uh, uh, lesson, I just want to encourage you to read the book of Judges to be able to understand a little bit more about the, the, the tribes and going into Canaan and that you may be able to uh, learn something that will help you with your journey. So uh, let's close in this time off in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We thank you for this short time together. We ask that you give us the ears to hear and the eyes to see and the heart to understand what you are saying in this message. And may it be expanded, expanded upon and also uh, learned more about so that we can understand more fully about this uh, tribe of Judah and the book of Judges. For your praise and your glory, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, speak to you soon. Thank you.